In the previous video, we learned about slots. We created the card component which contains a slot in the template. This allowed us to send arbitrary content from the parent app component. Now, although this works great, sometimes you might find it useful to have multiple slots. By doing so, you still have some predefined structure in the child component but the content within that predefined structure can still be controlled from the parent component. This will also reduce the code you write if you have to utilize the component in multiple places. A very good example is layout components which is definitely applicable to our card component as well. So in this video, let's understand how to add multiple slots to our card component. Back in VS Code, in card.view, let's add some structure to our card component. Our card should contain a header, a content, and a footer. Let's add three div tags with an ID that represents the section. Div ID is equal to card header. The second div with ID card content and the third div with id card footer. Earlier, we had a slot for the content. Let's add it back inside the card content div. Now for the header and the footer, we want the HTML to be controlled by the parent. So we need a slot again. Let's add one inside each of the two div tags. But we now have three slots. View will not know which slot the content has to be placed in. So when we have multiple slots, we need to specify a name for the slots. For the card header slot, let's add name is equal to header. And for the footer slot, name is equal to footer. For the content slot, you could specify a name if you wish to. However, we are allowed to leave one unnamed slot which is treated as the default slot. I'm going to leave the content slot as the default slot so as to learn more about it. Let's go back to the app component and fill in the new slots. In the template, begin with a card component. Within the opening and closing tags, we specify the content to be placed in each of the slots. And the way we do that is using the template tag. The template tag will contain the name of the slot it has to replace. First, we have the header slot. So add a template tag and to specify the slot name, we use the vslot directive. That is followed by a colon and then the slot name, which is header. As the actual content that goes into the child component, let's simply add an h3 tag that says header. Next, let's add a template for the default slot. So again, a template tag. And this time, the name of the slot is default. So we slot colon default. This is because our card content slot does not have a name, in which case its name is default. So we slot colon default. This is very important. As the actual content, let's add an image. I'm going to copy paste the image tag from above. Finally, let's add the footer content. Template tag, we slot is footer and as the footer content let's add a button that says view details again this is just to demonstrate multiple slots so you can add any html that you want to if you now save the file and take a look at the browser you can see our card component with a header a content and a footer our multiple slots card component is working as expected. 
And the card component we have here doesn't justify a practical card component, but in a real world application, you can consider the heading having a background and a font color, the footer being aligned to place the action button on the right and so on. Another possible use case is a modal component. You would have a modal header, a modal content and a modal footer. The layout is fixed, but what goes within each of those sections in the layout can be controlled from the parent component by specifying slots in the modal component. All right, there is one more detail left about slots that we need to learn. Let's do that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're enjoying the videos, please do leave a like.